All right, thanks. Um, I decided I wanted to do something a little different for my PhD and study flapping in robotics. And while I've never regretted that decision, I have wanted to play a little duck hunt in the lab. <laughs> so I didn't take the clicker. Is it one of those? No one's paying attention. <laughs> clicker? OK. Well, anyway, so with me here, I have the H2 bird. It's 20 centimeters long, has a 14 centimeter wingspan. Oh, thanks. And on board, we have our custom built electronics package. And it has a processor, accelerometer, gyroscope, and also uh, it also has a radio that we're communicating uh, using this XP right here. And also has uh, two motor drivers. And so we have clap fling wings and also a servo controlled elevator and a tail propeller for yaw control. And so what we're doing with this is we're using these mobile ground stations. So we have robots that are actually made of cardboard that we fold ourselves and make in the lab. And we're, we want to mount uh, cameras on top of these so that we can track the ornithopter as it's flying so we can do some type of advanced control because there's no vision on the actual ornithopter. It's 13.5 grams. So we did a little of this uh, in the past couple months. So I have a video. So we're basically using a particle filter to track the, the H2 bird and guide it through this window. And that's just one camera for vision. And it did go through in case that wasn't totally clear. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so now I'm going to show you a quick demo of it flying. I'm going to fly in a figure eight. And then it's going to do a very quick circle and then hopefully fly back to me. And all of this is done autonomously. All I'm doing right now is setting the initial flap speed and uh, pitch angle. And then we have uh, the trajectory is already programmed onto the actual bird. So it's using its uh, position estimate from the gyroscope to do the figure eight. A little close there. <laughs> Hopefully there was some good footage. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing for the rest of my PhD is I'm basically studying this, these uh, flight behaviors away from equilibrium and uh, you know, interesting flight modes. So if we're diving towards the ground, can we recover if the wings start in, the, in an off position? And also, if there's some wind gust, can we recover back to what we were doing before? So hopefully you'll hear more from me uh, in the future. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> 